Okay, so now we're going to do that part of the install. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I promise you guys a shot. Um, cool, huh? We're back with another car one on one. Okay, too cool. Let's play this. Ooh. Um, I think it's good. Things are really good. Oh, it's good to me. That's right. We were doing another car one on one. Hi YouTube, it's me, Nazarak, and we're back with another Cars 101 episode. Um, today we're talking about air-cooled systems on air-cooled vehicles. Um, it's not something that's used very much, but I'm finding that tying this into another video uh, about regular coolant system, cooling systems is too, is too long. It's too, it's too long-winded. Okay? So I want to keep this short and simple, make sure I get it out there for the people who need to know, and the people who don't want to know don't have to watch the video. Make sense? Okay, so air-cooled systems. Air-cooled systems are still around today. They're very practical and they're very effective depending on what you're trying to cool. Um, what you're trying to cool really depends on what its job is. A weed whacker doesn't need a lot. It has high RPMs, but at the same time, it's a small displacement engine. Uh, you don't need a lot to cool that down, so you, you can use an air-cooled system. Now, if you were to move to vehicles, things that travel and are meant to get people from point A to point B, the most common, most popular one out there is the VW Bug. Uh, they used air-cooled engines for quite some time. I can't remember the dates, but for very, very, very long time they used them. I don't think they ever switched to uh, liquid-cooled until the more modern Bugs came out. But anyway, um, so VW Bugs use air-cooled systems. How does the air-cooled system work? In a nutshell, if you've ever taken apart an Xbox 360, uh, PlayStation 3, or even your old desktop that you just wanted to take apart and see what was inside. Um, you'll notice that there's a pro... Hmm. You won't notice a processor, you'll notice a giant hunk of metal with a fan on it, okay? If you were to take the fan off of that giant hunk of metal, you'll notice a whole bunch of veins or even little spikes, spires popping up. And if you were to take that off of whatever it was sitting on, you notice a little processor. Now that little processor gets really hot, okay? Just doing its job, it heats up. So what we do is we put the stuff called uh, heat compound or heat sink compound or something like that and you stick it on top of the processing processor the CPU or GPU whatever it is and then you stick this giant piece of metal generally aluminum okay you stick this giant piece of aluminum to it and what happens is that heat sink material in between the two makes the heat sink which is what it's called uh, heat up with the processor so most of the heat that the processor gets automatically gets transferred to the heat sink. Now the fan is designed to dissipate the heat of the heat sink, thereby dissipating the heat of the processor. Now it's the same thing with your PS3, your sorry, sorry again, your Xbox 360, and uh, your common engine, your Briggs and Stratton, your Ryobi, your Hux, Huxvarna engine. It's the same exact premise, okay? Um, if you look at these engines, uh, there's a cylinder. Okay, now, uh, a weed whacker's two-stroke, okay? Uh, so it's a little bit different for that one. But, I mean, at the same time, the premise is still the same, okay? You have a cylinder, and all around the cylinder are giant veins, metal veins that are designed to spread the heat from the cylinder so air can carry the heat away. Okay, that's all it is. If you look at a VW engine, it's the same exact premise, okay? now. Uh, newer VWs, newer Beetles don't use this, so don't even use this as a reference. But if you look at old Subaru engines, old Honda engines, old Volkswagen engines, they all use this method for cooling. This is what air cooling is. It's effective, but you can't press an air-cooled engine like you can a uh, liquid-cooled engine. Now, air-cooled engines aren't 100% air-cooled, and there's some, some clever VW guys out there who have figured out that if you can cool the oil, you can cool the engine more effectively, okay? So when the, the oil's flowing through the engine, uh, you can actually use that oil almost as a coolant. So you'll find Volkswagen guys with an um, uh, oil cooler at the front of their car and a small reservoir or using a dry sump oil system 
to actually cool their engine down more, and it works pretty damn good. Like I, I was shocked at, at what I had seen with uh, some of these systems. Um, you guys could check it out on YouTube. But I mean, in, in essence, what they're doing is they're adding a larger volume of oil to soak up more of the heat. Now you already have that plus the air cooled system. Um, and those two together, they work very well, almost to the point to where they work as well as the liquid cooling system. I personally would prefer a liquid cooling system, but I mean, you work with what you got. If you like the air cooled systems, that's the way to go. So technically there is some liquid, but it's oil, okay? It's not like coolant, water, antifreeze, whatever you want to call it. It's not like that. So I think that's pretty much it for air cooled systems. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something else, and I really can't. Uh, there, there's two stroke, generally there are two stroke engines that use this, but laws have pro pro prohibited two strokes from being uh, manufactured anymore because it's so bad for the environment. So like dirt bike engines that used to be two stroke, gone. Uh, even uh, these little weed whackers are now moving to four stroke because you know, you're know you spraying out oil every time you crank the engine, so that's pretty much it. I think boats still use them though. It might be it, it's kind of ironic. But anyway, that's all we have today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe. This is Nazarak. Seriously, feel free to like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, we're going to be going through all the cooling systems tonight. So if you want to see the other cooling system videos, just click that like button, click that subscribe button, and you'll see them. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Deuces.